Hi everybody, this is Ingi from Crochet Artisite and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make doll hair and it's a very simple technique, it's really easy to do and let's get started on the tutorial! Bye! So for this tutorial I'm using glue called Rill it's, it's a silicona liquida glue that I bought in a shop called King Kong. I found this glue worked really well on doll hair, but this doll that I used, her head was really slippery, so I I actually glued on some ribbon. As you can see, the thicker ribbon I glued on her hair, head to make it easy to glue on the hair. And then when you see the thinner ribbon, in the, that's just behind the thicker ribbon, that's what I use for the hair. So I'm actually going to stitch this thinner ribbon to the yellow yarn that I'm going to use for hair. So let me show you what I'm doing. You need a sewing machine as well for this, but first you just need to, to uh, roll up your yarn basically. So first you have to obviously choose the type of yarn you want to use, roll it up, um, you don't really know how much you're going to need until you start um, gluing it on, then you'll know. So it's a bit of trial and error, and you cut the edges off, and turn your sewing machine on, and then you need your, um, your thin ribbon, basically. Um, and you lay it across, what the way I'm doing here, see I'm laying it across the middle. And then I put it through the sewing machine. So you do this first, you lay it across the middle and then you put it on your sewing machine and you just stitch with simple stitches. Um, just straight forward. And it's sometimes when you do this you'll find that you'll have a little bit of a gap. But that doesn't matter because you can cut the gaps. As you can see here I have quite a few gaps. That's just how the yarn was laying or sliding over the ribbon or the, you know, it's just the way it ended up. Doesn't matter because you can cut that, those pieces away. And then when you do glue on the hair, you just glue the pieces that you have. It doesn't have to be one long string. It can be many short strings or many different. It's actually a benefit to have different length. So here I have a few different ones. But now this is the most important part fold all the hair in one direction. So it's facing one direction and you stitch on top. And I use cross stitches when I stitch across the second time over the ribbon. See here? Now all the hair is facing one way. And it's stitched together. And I have many different pieces because just the way that it ended up. And now I'm going to glue the ribbon to the doll. Now I'm doing the thicker ribbon or the wider ribbon first and that's just to give it a surface that is easy to glue the hair onto. You let that dry and that surface is a lot easier to glue hair onto than the doll head. The doll head was too slippery and it just ended up falling apart. But if you can do it without putting the ribbon on first, you know, you can do it. It just didn't work with this particular doll. And now I am basically gluing, and I start with the longest piece I have. And it goes not all the way around, but it goes almost all the way around. And then I find one of the pieces that I can, that is filling in the gap. And if it's a little bit longer, you just take it to where it ends up and it will overlap. And then you take your next piece and you go around and around and you, as you can see it doesn't matter that they have different lengths because you're going to need different lengths to get around. And there's no point trying to measure this beforehand. It's best to just do all of your pieces. If you have not enough pieces you just make more. If you have too many pieces that can be left over, over for the next project. And you just glue the pieces together. As you can see the video. So the trickiest part with this is basically you're just dealing with a lot of glue. You get glue on your fingers and it sticks to everything. Uh, this glue that I'm using real, it will be a little bit, um, you know, you'll have, before it dries, you, you think that it's not glued on properly. Like, uh, as you can see, it just looks like it's coming apart a little bit. 
but what, believe me, once it is dried, it is it's it is really secured. The hair is really secured. Then you can brush the hair, you can pull on the hair, and it it doesn't fall off. So now I'm gonna give her a haircut. This is actually the funniest part is to give a haircut, but I didn't uh, I didn't put much effort into the haircut because <laughs> the hair the yarn is a little bit too thick for this doll. So I didn't think I was gonna get her a very good haircut to begin with. And uh, it's it's all right, but this thicker yarn really needs to be on a on a bigger doll. So, but for this uh, tutorial, it's all it's not too bad. But she will end up with very unique hair, as you can see. <laughs> I made her a little cocktail dress. She looks very sophisticated now. So this is a short hair version, and then the other doll she has long hair. Very, very cool. Let me know, guys, how you go with your own doll hair project. Bye, guys.